Okay, so this topic is probably going to offend some people that know me, but I don't care. Um, pay your rent. Pay your rent on time before the first. Because this is what happens. If you're renting or you're in a roommate situation and the main roommate that's on the lease um, writes a check and the landlord cashes it because, and you didn't pay your rent, they have to pay like fees if they even cash the check. Sometimes it goes insufficient and then the landlord gets a, an insufficient fee and then the person that wrote the check gets the insufficient fee. So, or, you know, our balance check fee. So sometimes that's 70 to like $80. And for some reason, the person that paid their rent late feels like they don't have to pay that. Well, you do because it's very irresponsible for you not to pay your rent. And it's funny because these people that don't pay their rent on time are the same people that are buying stuff every week and they're like, oh, look what I got, look what I got. And then they don't even pay their rent on time. I don't know about you, but I can be starving and my rent is paid on time. I may not pay Con Edison on time or the cable bill. I'll let it add up for two months and then I'll pay it, you know, when I have it. But I pay my rent on time. Because no matter what happens, you need a roof over your head. And if you're one of these New Yorkers that you're like, oh, well, I can live someplace for six months and then not pay my rent. No, because karma is going to hurt you so bad, you have no idea. You need to pay your rent. Rent is really important. Food is not important. There is enough body fat on the human body for you not to eat for a month. Did you know that? You don't need to eat. You want to eat. You think in your brain that you need to eat. That's why people in Europe, they live on tapas because they don't need that much food. Nobody needs that much food. Unless you're like a farmer in South America or like in Europe and you're like, you know, pounding at the ground all day from sunrise to sunset and then you need a lot of food for the energy, that's one thing. But if you're sitting at your desk, or you have one of these jobs where you're not really moving around a lot and you're kind of like chilling and relaxing or you're in retail, you don't need it. You don't need it. If you're a corporate person, you don't need that much food. You can live on coffee alone. So that's ridiculous. Secondly, how is it that you have money to buy all this stuff but you don't have money to pay your rent? Okay, if you can't pay your rent, move out and sit on somebody's couch. Because that's what you deserve. You deserve to sleep on somebody's couch because you're not paying your rent. Okay? Grow up, people. We want to change this country. We want to make a difference. You want to be an example. You want people around you to respect you and treat you properly. Then you need to make those changes. You. Be an example. Be responsible. I don't know when the, this last generation thought it was okay to be so irresponsible. Yes, we live in the now society, the immediate gratification society, and that's great. We have all these privileges, but we don't even respect or honor the privileges that our parents and our grandparents fought for. So ungrateful, these people. It would be unheard of. It would be dishonorable to your family and your family name to do something like that. There's no more honor. You should really look at yourself. You know what I mean? And, and people are probably going to be pissed at me. I don't care. I really don't. I don't. You know, because somebody needs to say it. The reason that this whole generation, the generation before me, and the generation after me, they're so, like, irresponsible and just, oh, chilling, life is good, YOLO. No, it's not good. It's not okay. Okay, you should not be living off your parents. You should be helping your parents. Okay, did, did you hear me? You should not be living off your parents you should be helping your parents do you understand that if you helped your parents buy a house guess what happens you get the house good only comes from good but if you're like you know eating your family out of house and home there's gonna be nothing left for you or anybody else it's time to be responsible everybody and if you are responsible and you pay your bills and you do everything on time, this isn't for you. You probably shouldn't even be watching this. But if you know somebody that's like that, you should probably play this for them. But I, I just don't even understand how irresponsible people can be. And yeah, I guess maybe because they don't pay the price or there's no repercussions and people let them slide. Because usually these people have pretty decent personalities or they sell themselves off for something else. Or they offer something that they think is worth something but it's really not. Um, but I... I don't understand when people thought it was okay not to be responsible. When? And I can't talk, don't get me wrong, there's times that I haven't paid certain bills. 
because I needed to ensure I had a roof over my head because there was something more important than the interest fee of a credit card or my cell phone skipping a month. You know what I mean? I'm not perfect. I'm not sitting here and, and preaching you know, to the choir, I'm, I'm telling you, like, I'm not perfect, but my rent has always been, my rent has always been, my roommates I can talk about have not always paid their rent on time, and that looks bad on me, because now it looks like, you know, like, what do you mean, you, you've been here for seven years, and you, your rent has never been late, and now it's, like, consistently never paid on time, that doesn't look good, but that's not the point, the point is, you need to be accountable, you gotta pay your rent, you know, and, and I, I don't agree with this law that you can live for six months and then not pay. I don't agree with that. And I don't agree with people that are like, well, take it from my security. No. Pay your rent. Be responsible. Do the right thing. You do the right thing and good things will come to you. You do the wrong thing, you might get away with it. But I'm telling you, karma will come back to you when you least expect it. When you need it the most, it won't be there. God will not reward you for screwing people over. God does not do that. Okay, and when I talk about God, it's not a Christian God or a Muslim God or an Indian God. It's God, the God. He is everybody's God. Okay, it is the universe. It is karma. It is energy. It is whatever you want to call it. And I'm telling you, it will come back and hurt you. So be responsible. Be good. Don't, don't take advantage of people. Even if your whole life you've been taken advantage of, be the bigger person. If you didn't like it, why on earth are you doing it to anybody else? This makes no sense to me whatsoever. How anybody could feel like they're right because they've been wronged. It is such. It is so much harder to be good than bad. It is easy to be bad and not care. It is easy to be bad and be irresponsible. It is easy to be bad and, and do whatever you want. But to be good, to do the right thing, that's so much harder. But you know what? It's so much more rewarding. It really is. Because when people see that you're consistently a good person, they want to help you. When things aren't going well, they want to help you. They want to be there for you because they know that you're a good person. But when you're constantly doing stuff and you're shysty and you're shady, you know, people will look at you and be like, I'm not helping him. Mm -mm. So do the right thing. Be responsible.